Pack Jam started on 199, the 440 run. Yeah, the original Pack Jam on 199 and 441, it was skating rings back there in the back. I know all y'all 54th Street Pack Jam junkies think it started there. No, it started at the skate ring. We had to skate first, we went in a little circle, then they had the players in the, in the center. The ones who ain't want to skate, we were jumping to the music, and then by 11 o'clock, all that shut down, and that thing became the Pack Jam. That place was phenomenal and uh, legendary. You know, just the speakers, the energy, and the vibe, and the music, and just what the Pack Jam had, had brought to the music scene down here. The Pack Jam was a place everybody go at to meet women, and read guys and everything, and plus we give them a good show. You know, ghetto style, you had the Pack Jam, you got the welcome to the hey hey, that's what they call it. The Pack Jam was like one of the first places I, I seen the Fat Boys, I seen Eric Dean and Rakim, uh, uh, Keith Sweat, Jodeci, and, and the name goes up, the, the, the list can go on and on. Vibe was live. You go in there, you see bitches popping pussy all over the place, the bass was hitting, the DJs were live. Pack Jam is up, that's, that's like a Dade County thing that you ain't gonna never forget. So many memories at the Pack Jam, you know what I'm saying? Just the culture of the Pack Jam. Get old style DJs. They had a big um, sound system, 24 cabinets. They will always have more bass speakers than they had you know, mid-range or, or, or tweeter speakers. So they called it ghetto bass because it was kind of, in a sense, it was kind of, it wasn't no janky operation. It was, it was a great sound system, but you heard more bass than you heard mids and highs. Well, I remember all the green down speakers going around, around the wall. The DJs packed the jam and they jammed the pack. When I talk about ghetto style DJs, you had Lil High, you had G.I. Joe, Baby Sid, Madal Cisco, but Chico, Chico did his thing, much respect. It was amazing, Chico, and then G.I. Joe, of course you had Duke. And uh, those were the main three. Uh, my favorite out of the ghetto style DJs was uh, Mason Chico. I liked, I liked his voice, I liked his energy. Luke was cool, but I always thought Chico was better uh, than all of me, my personal favorite. Lil' Hop, Baby Sad, Chico. <laughs> When Chico get on, Chico the fourth quarter man, when he get on, he'll tell you kick up the shoe, whatever, and he get on now, he get non-stop. He do his thing. You know, all those people who grew up in the Pack Jam, they'll have these big Pack Jam reunion parties like once a month. You know, one of the DJs, uh, uh, Chico, he was a part of the group. Amazing Chico, he did his thing and he's still up and running to his day rocking the thing. And he would do these parties once a month and they would do them at the, at the Double Tree Hotel and thousands and thousands of people. I mean, he would do anywhere from around 3,000 people on, on a given month. All those people who grew up in that whole era, they would be there and they would be dressed like they was at the Pack Jam. Ghetto Star became a legend, still still going right now today. Don't stop, get it, get it, don't stop, get it, get it. You know, I was a certified what they call a Pack Jam junkie. I went mm -hmm. every Friday and Saturday. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about for a long time, you know what I'm saying? From Trick Daddy in the corner, Rick Ross in the other corner, this rapper, this rapper, everybody all over the club. I was there the night Trick Daddy auditioned for Luke. Woo! Verb audition for Luke. Remember Luke said that on the show? Yeah, Luke? yeah, yeah, yeah. I was in wow. the crowd. Wow. Yeah, I was in the crowd. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Pack Jam is legendary. You know, I was that nigga in the Pack Jam. The line could be from here to and just walking in like 20 deep with my little hop, what's up? Verb, who you got? Oh, all of that. Oh, they with you? Yeah, we walk in. I was Poison Clan rock the world, you dig? Poison Clan was popping. We was, we was permanent fixtures in the back down. Back down, couldn't mess with it. 10 years strong. Every Saturday, probably 1,600 people. The Pac Jam is Miami, you know. When you think about Miami, you think about the Pac Jam. Like, the Pac Jam kind of set the party vibe to the new culture, to the generation of Miami, you know. You can't think about Miami if you don't think about the Pac Jam. You got people all from out of town, man, come down just to come to the Pac Jam. 
I'm like, wow, man, how the hell? Everybody come down from the pack jam, and now nah, it, it, it was never the same face in the pack jam. He was listening to the the hard beat of Miami, and then he was listening to like new records. And you know, we would test the songs. We would actually go make them and put them in there. People didn't dance to them after after they get to the second verse in the garbage. If your song was playing in pack jam. This is a guaranteed hit. If they love, nah, not just pick. If they love this song in Pac Jam, this is a guaranteed hit. Guaranteed. Every single time. Every single time. I wanna rock. Luke's song. I wanna rock. I wanna rock. That's started in Pac Jam. I actually, before I put the lyrics on the song, that song, I had played, the, the song was in the, in the team disco for at least six or eight months, maybe longer, before I actually put my vocals on top of the song. That shit was a monster and packed down way, probably like a whole year before Luke got, 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 was like, oh word, all right, let me do that. That's what was banging and packed down. Without no lyrics, just the beat. You know, Pac Jam broke a lot of people, music from different areas. I, I'm sure they wasn't popping like that, but that one song broke down here in South Florida. The Pac Jam was definitely like an epic time in Miami and definitely like a monument. Miami. Shout out to ghetto style DJs, uh, Chico, Uncle Luke, you know, all the all the ghetto style DJs, man. You know, Pac Jam put Miami on the map. Pac Jam will definitely go down as being legendary, especially if you're from the crib. You remember that, them days. Ghetto style DJs.